Dr. George from Lockview Hair Clinic. We have Juan in the hot seat today, here for his transplant. How you doing today, Juan? I'm excited just to wait to get it ready on it. You nervous at all? Not really. I'm just a little bit on it, but no, not much on it. Good. Yeah, a lot of my clients will say the same thing in the morning. Doc, I'm a little scared. I'm a little nervous. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, Doc, I was like a day in the spa. So we're going to take good care of you today, okay? Thank you. The plan for Juan today, we're going to reconstruct the hairline, take care of zone one, these corners of zone two, and we're going to target around 2,500 follicles to restore those areas. Now we're also going to be doing one kit of PRP and some stem cells. And what that does is it helps to recover the area. You heal faster, your results come in sooner, more of your follicles survive the process, and it helps to preserve all of these existing hairs, which is half the battle when it comes to hair restoration. Transplant fixes the areas that are gone, it fixes the areas that have miniaturized, and then we wanna preserve everything else due to the limitations of everyone's donor. Whatever we take from here doesn't grow here anymore, it grows where we put it. We never want this to run out. We want the look to be complete. So fixing the areas is just as important as saving everything else. So what we're gonna be doing in just a moment for one, we're gonna shave the donor area and we're gonna start with the numbing injections to make sure he doesn't feel a thing for the rest of the day, okay? Ready to get started? Ready. Beautiful, let's do it. Let's do it. Start with the marker, please. What I'm gonna do is highlight the areas that are safe to go into. We never want to transplant hair follicles that may be prone to loss in the future. So I'm going to highlight the areas that are showing signs of thinning potentially so that down the line, the transplanted hairs should be with you long term. Beautiful. I have the clippers. Thank you. We're gonna start with just the donor shape. Okay. We typically keep everything long up here so we can see the areas of strength and weakness. And then we shave everything else off after the design is complete. one we've shaved the donor area now we're going to disinfect it may feel a little bit cold mm -hmm. let's start here on this side Beautiful. this is going to help to prevent any infection thank you let's take care of this side once this disinfection is complete, then we're gonna start with the first series of injections for the day. Sure. If you remember from our conversation in the morning, the injections are the most sensitive part of each individual phase where they're involved. This is gonna be no more than maybe a minute of injections. The discomfort will dissipate very quickly. Okay. And then for the rest of the day, in the areas we inject, you shouldn't feel a thing, okay? Okay. going to do now is the series of injections in the areas we're going to be working on. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a series here on the right lower, the right upper donor, then the left lower and the left upper donor. Remember it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable but it'll be mm -hmm. very quick, okay? Sure. Ready to get started? Yes. Perfect. One, two, three. You're going to feel a little vibration device. That vibration device helps to distract the nerves to some degree, helps make the injections a little bit less uncomfortable. Two and one. 
perfect. First series is done. Ready for the next one? Yes. One, two, three. Now you may notice your heart rate going up to some extent. That's because there's a little bit of epinephrine or adrenaline, that fight or flight hormone mixed in with the numbing injections. It helps us slow down bleeding, but it also makes the heart beat a little bit harder and faster. It's completely normal, okay? Mm -hmm. It goes away very quickly. Beautiful. Now we're gonna start on the left side here. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Last series now. One, two, three. Two, one. Perfect. A little bit uncomfortable, right? That's yeah, all right. But not too bad. Beautiful. All right. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna get you in position in just a moment mm -hmm. to get started with the first phase, okay? Sure. Alrighty. All right, Juan. I'm gonna give you a few more injections now, okay? Uh -huh. These shouldn't be as bad as the ones you just got, but they may still pinch a little bit. Uh -huh. This is just to finalize the nerve block so you don't feel anything moving forward, okay? Are you feeling any of these? No, a little bit. Now, the most sensitive areas are generally right here by the ear uh -huh. and the base of the Quite head where it meets yeah. the top of the neck. Yeah, you felt that, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, very sensitive area. Sometimes it takes a little bit extra. So if at any point you feel any discomfort, your job is to let me know, okay? Uh -huh. Beautiful. Now tell me one. Do you feel what I'm doing? Mm, not right now. Perfect. What about here? Nothing. What about here? A little bit. A little bit? Uh -huh. Perfect. So we're going to get started in just a moment, okay? Okay. Beautiful.
Strike One. How was that first base for you? It was great. No painful. It was very, very nice. Beautiful. Let's go through your numbers. We were targeting around 2,500 plus or minus about 100 or so. We ended up with 2,608 grafts. Okay. Now an average distribution is 25% singles, 50% doubles, and 25% triples or more. For you, we got only 19% singles, which is below average, which is a good thing. We got only 22% doubles. So that discrepancy adds to your 59% triples or more. So these triple grafts are the ones that add a lot of density to the transplant. So this is the best case scenario. You always want the triples to be more than both the doubles and the singles combined. So these are phenomenal numbers. Your grafts were very high quality, okay? okay? Now for you, the goal is to restructure your hairline. You've lost a lot of density here in the temples, moving up and back. Mm -hmm. So we want to reconnect your temple here with a new hairline, fill in all of zone one behind it, and there's a transition area between the open and the dense part here, where the hair is a little bit thin, but it's not completely gone. So we want to fortify that. Once all of this is filled in, as you can see here in the front, it's a little bit thin as well. Then we're going to go between the existing hairs front and back to fill in as much of this entire area as possible. Okay. Sounds good? Sounds great. Beautiful. So what I'm going to do now is hand you this mirror. Take a look here. What I want to do is break down the proportions of your face. Using the Vitruvian, what we know is the ideal proportions will be one-third of your face here, one-third of your face here, and one-third of your face here. So, let's break down the measurements. With your mouth closed from the bottom of your chin to the top of your eyebrow, you see that's around 15 centimeters. Mm -hmm. You see that? So if this is 15, that makes this seven and a half and seven and a half centimeters. So we want the ideal location from that same high point to be around seven and a half centimeters, which is going to be right here, right where I placed that little brown down. Okay. We're gonna use that as a guideline to tell us where the hairline should be. We can go a little bit higher, we can go a little bit lower, of course, but this is going to be the starting point. Mm -hmm. Sounds good? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So I'll take this off your hands and we're gonna get started with the design, okay? Can we go a little bit lower or just at the end we, we move it around? Of course, we okay. can go higher, we can go lower. Okay. This is just kind of the ideal just location idea. and I'm gonna give you different options. I'll give you one sure. at that location, I'll give you one lower, I'll give you one higher and we'll decide what the final design is going to be over the course of the next hour or so. Yes, that's great. Beautiful. Raise the eyebrows for me. Now if you wanna come in, when we raise the eyebrows, what we want to see is the junction where the puffy skin meets the flatter skin behind it. This is all musculature. That's not a safe area to implant into. So what we want to do is we want to find that junction where these finer creases meet the flatter skin. So somewhere in this area would be the safest place to put a new hairline because there's no musculature here. This area was designed to build hair. This area was not. So going too low, some people want really aggressive hairlines down to here. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't look natural. And the survival rate is far lower for areas like this versus the safer areas where the hair should grow because the skin is designed to hold it. Beautiful. We can relax the eyebrows now. We have the design now. What are your thoughts? That's good. Beautiful. So what I'm going to do now is break down your zones. Zone one is going to be the first two centimeters. That gets full natural density. Zone two is going to be the next five centimeters. And we're going to highlight the areas where you have no hair, where you have some hair, and where your hair is the most dense. And then we're going to populate those areas with the grafts that we extracted earlier. Now, once I have the zones broken down, we're going to shave everything else off trace over the design you're seeing currently. And then what we're gonna do is add those irregularly placed hairs in the front, we call them softeners, to add some irregularity to it. We never want it to be a straight line. We never want the left and the right side to be 100% exactly the same. 
you want some difference because everyone's right and left are a little bit different. And what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of a widow's peak here in the front for you to blend in more with that natural widow's peak that you have. Sounds good? Sounds good. Beautiful. So let's break down your zones. It's gonna be zone one right there on your right. Let's do the same now on the left. Now we're going to highlight the areas where you still have a good amount of hair. So what we see here are the areas that require the most restoration here and this corner here for zone two and over here on the right side here for zone one and this corner of zone two. This middle area as we can see still has a lot of beautiful hair. We're going to go between these existing hairs to fortify this area and work our way front to back to future proof this for down the line as well. Beautiful. And now we're going to get started with the shave. Right. Ready? Right. When was the last time you shaved your head? Uh, dude, I never did. <laughs> you never did? Well, it's the first time for everything, right? Yeah. Uh, Beautiful. We're going to get started in just a moment, okay? Okay. Let's get the chuck. All right, one. Here we go. So we've shaved the head now, and as you can see, these are the areas we've highlighted, zone one being from this blue line coming back here, and zone two being from this blue line coming all the way back to the end here. Two centimeters for zone one, five for zone two. This area where you see this curved line has a lot of existing hair, but in front here, working all the way out, we're going to completely restore. We're going to go between the existing hairs here, like this, to add extra density. And we're going to fill these open corners in as well. And now what I'm going to do is in front of the hairline, we're going to add those irregularly placed hairs to give it a softer, more natural look. And once I'm done, we're going to add a slight widow's peak to blend in with his natural pre-existing widow's peak as well. Okay? Ready? Don't move your head, okay?
Me. Perfect. I'm going to get you a mirror so I can show you everything that I just did, okay? Mm -hmm. Here you go. Perfect. So as you can see, this is going to be the new hairline, but in front of it, I added those jaggedy, regularly placed hairs. All of those singles are, are sorry, all those softeners are going to be singles and the entire hairline also singles. We want those singles in the front to give it a soft look, and then we want the density to start in the back of the hairline. So the first three to four rows will be soft and natural, and then the fuller density will kick in behind it. And as you can see, I've added just a little bit of a widow's peak here to blend in what you already have. Okay. What are your thoughts? Good. Beautiful. Alrighty. So what we're going to do next, you're officially halfway done with your day. We're going to move on for those numbing injections I was telling you about earlier, where mm -hmm. you're going to get injections two in each eyebrow, mm -hmm. followed by an additional two in each eyebrow. These are the most sensitive part for the whole day, but it'll be in and out in less than a second for each poke. And for the rest of the day, you shouldn't really feel much, okay? Okay. Beautiful. We're going to get started. All right, Yvonne. I'm disinfecting your eyebrows now. We're going to get those numbing injections in in just a moment. And these are the most sensitive injections for the day, so the most important thing will be that you don't move your head. But I'll be done in the next few seconds. That's going to take care of the majority of the discomfort to your scalp, okay? feel a little vibration device on your scalp that's going to help you okay. to distract the nerves a little okay? okay i'll be in and out in just a second ready uh -huh. one two and three same thing here one two and three well, it's uncomfortable but you did great one more time here on the right one two and three one, two, and three. Beautiful. Now I'm going to go back in here on your left side. I'm going to give you a little moment. These next four injections, you're not really going to feel too much, okay? One, two, three. One more time. One, two, three. Not as bad that time, right? Beautiful. One, two, three. One, two, three. Perfect. Those few injections are going to save you from feeling many, many more mm -hmm. as I do the injections up here for the recipient areas. This part's probably starting to go a little bit numb. The further to the sides I go, the more you're feeling. So before I get started, I'm going to give you more injections up top. And for the rest of the day, you shouldn't feel a thing, okay? Okay. Ready to move on? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Congratulations, you're officially halfway done with your day, okay? All right. All right, Juan. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you some more injections for numbing, okay? Mm -hmm. The middle parts, you shouldn't really feel it too much, but the further out towards the sides I get, the more you're going to feel. Just until everything fully kicks in, then it should be completely pain-free after that, okay? Okay. Ready? Little vibration device to distract your nerves. One, two, three. It's uncomfortable, I'm sorry. You're doing great. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. And now we're gonna continue here on your left side. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, and three. Sorry. Perfect. Now the rest of the injections you're gonna get shouldn't feel too, too bad. 
may still stink for a little bit, but you're gonna be all done in just a moment. bit here. Perfecto. Beautiful. All right. Freezing. Thank you. Now, do you feel what I'm doing here? No. Perfect. What about here? A little bit. A little bit? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give you a little bit more nose, okay? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Do you feel what I'm doing here? Mm -hmm. What about here? A little bit. A little bit? Mm -hmm. What about out here? Nope. Here? Right there, sir. Yeah. started on the hairline now okay mm -hmm. now we're gonna start on the right side hairline now one two three and what I'm doing for you one are following the natural angles of your existing hair okay Thank you. Head a little bit to the left. Perfect. Further out we go on the hairline, the more we have to change the angles to match the areas that we're working on. Yep. Perfect. Straighten the hair for me. Any pain one? No, no.
almost done. You have about 50 or so more incisions left, after which we're gonna clean you up and get you ready for lunch, okay? Okay. Almost there. done with the third phase. Congratulations. Right. Hardest parts of the day are over. We're gonna clean you up, get you ready for lunch. And that's when you're gonna sit back, relax, watch a movie, eat, and then we're gonna move on to the fourth phase, which is implanting in about 20 to 30 minutes or so, okay? Okay. Beautiful. Congratulations, my friend. All right. All right, Juan, well, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna do the injections for your PRP stem cells. This is what it looks like. We're gonna inject it all into the areas that we worked on and the surrounding areas. This is gonna help your scalp to heal faster, for your results to come in sooner, and more of your follicles to survive the transplant process. It can also help reduce the risk of things like telogen and effluvium or shock loss, where the surrounding areas that have natural hair those can fall out because of the trauma, this can help prevent that from happening as well, okay? okay? So once I finish these injections, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give the instructions for how we're gonna implant the grafts and where all the density will go. I'm gonna start here, you shouldn't feel a thing. Ready? Okay. Beautiful. Do you feel anything? No, I don't. Beautiful. And the last one. Perfect. So we're gonna get you in position now, and I'm gonna highlight the areas where all that density is going to go, like I mentioned earlier. Alrighty. All right, team, so we're gonna use singles for the hairline, three to four rows. We're also gonna, of course, use singles for the widow's peak as well. This entire area here will all be triples. This area here that was already strong previously will be the remaining triples mixed in with some doubles. Threes across here. Everything else back here will be 
all of the remaining doubles and the few remaining singles that we didn't use for the hairline will all be dispersed in zone two. Sounds good? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. You're gonna pick a movie to watch now, Juan, and in the next two hours or so, you're gonna be all done with your day, my friend, okay? Okay. Everything has been going smooth for you so far today? Yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alrighty. Any pain one? All right, Juan, you're all done with your day. How'd it go for you today? It goes nice. Not too bad, right? Not too bad. How was the pain all, all day today? No pain at all. Beautiful. Maybe just during the injections you had a little bit of discomfort, but beyond that, everything was okay, right? Yes. Beautiful. So you haven't seen it yet, so I'm going to show you now. You excited to see it? Yes, definitely. Here you go, my friend. Let's take a look. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah. Yeah. So we restored all of zone one for you and these corners of zone two, like we had discussed, almost everything in your zone one mm -hmm. is triples. And your triples include fours, five, sixes. You have a lot of really dense hair follicles. So your results should be phenomenal. And like I mentioned, I was gonna go between the existing hairs in those areas. I'm very excited to see what your final outcome is gonna look like. We added that little widow's peak for you to kind of complement that one that you already had. Sure. And in six months time, I have a feeling you're gonna be extremely happy, my friend. Yeah. Beautiful. So what do you think? You like it? You I like love it. it. I love it. It's nice. Beautiful. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be more painful for now. It was Very good. Yeah. Very good one. So congratulations, you made it through a marathon of a day. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna give you some instructions on what to do, what not to do. The most important thing to know when it comes to a hair transplant, everything up here is still quite loose. Today is the day you got your transplant. So you just have to be really careful. Don't bump your head. Make sure you keep your head above your heart, your chin straight so the grafts don't pop out if you were to bend over. And in a moment, we'll go through all those instructions in detail, but 
Congratulations, my All friend. Right. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. So follow along on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram to see what Juan's results will look like in approximately six months or so. And we're really excited to see what it's going to turn out to be, okay? Yes. Congratulations. Thank Juan. you.